and welcome to day five of my Olympic trials journey. I hope you guys enjoyed the first days. And today is just a pre-meet shakeout day, and the quality hopefully has improved significantly. But I'm about to go on my pre-meet. I got my banded hat, banded shirt, my credentials, short shorts, and e6 and banded. That is the fit of the day, and I hope you guys enjoy today. So what have I been up to all day? Let's sit down and recap and I'll tell you what I've been doing uh, pretty much all day. This morning I woke up, I don't, I don't remember what time I woke up, but I woke up and went for a shakeout downstairs. Uh, the Martin team and they blessed me with a lot of Martin gear. They gave me this, I don't know what this is, I've never used it, I'm not going to try it to use it tomorrow. I'm going to use this, oh there it is, Martin Bicarb System 22. I've never used it, if you ever use it let me know in the comments below but I'm not gonna use it tomorrow because I have no idea. It's supposed to counteract lactic acid during a race. They also blessed me with a lot of, well, I, I've already got rid of most of them, but they blessed me with a bunch of these. If you know, these each are five bucks each. This one's five bucks, this one's five bucks. So like, it's expensive stuff. They blessed me with a bunch of those and I already put it in my bottles. And then they also gave me these really sick race bottles, race day bottles. I'm not gonna use them for this race because I already have race day bottles, but these would be really good bottles to train with. They gave me six of those. And then they also gave me, oh, well, there's none in here, but they also gave, I, I, I already submitted all of it, I guess. And they also gave me a lot of gels, because I need, I, I just tied up all, gels to all my bottles, so they gave me a lot of gels as well, so that was really nice of them. We were given to us six, about six bottles, and so I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my bottles, just because um, I've talked to a lot of people about like where, sh where you should put your caffeine and like stuff like that, so I did six bottles, I did First three were regular, and then uh, bottle uh, four and five were caffeinated, and then the bottle six wasn't caffeinated, and then I also distributed gels on my bottles just because I like to have like, reassurance. Like Necessarily, I'm not gonna take the gels, but like I like to have the reassurance of knowing that, like, all right, like, I don't wanna drink right now, but I wanna take a gel. So I always do a gel, so I did uh, gel every other one, so I did uh, gel on the first one, no gel, gel on the next one, no gel, and just did that. Um, just to have reassurance as well and I worked out pretty well and so I'm pretty happy with my choice and I, I will tomorrow like I have no worries going in that I'm gonna have any like if I have if I, if I feel bloated and I'm just like stitch the water bottle and just take the gel and if I feel like I need more liquids because it's so hot outside and I'll just toss the gel and uh, take the liquid it's an expensive process uh, I think Every single one of those bottles costs a lot, like I've said earlier in the past. Um, like with the modern things, like everything anywhere is from between anywhere from like 350 to like five bucks. So in about a marathon, I'll do a video about this one day, but like in this marathon, just like in this race, it's anywhere from 20 to 25 bucks of just liquids and gels that I've spent. So it's it's an expensive sport when it turns into the diet just because you just throw, you, half of it you most likely get to throw away. And then I did my shakeout, uh, ended up doing a shakeout and heard about what Brooks was doing. So Brooks was giving out free super shoes to all the Olympic trials qualifiers. So me and a couple of friends just jogged down there and got the, their Hyperion Elite 4s for free. Um, I'm not going to race in these tomorrow, but I am going to work out in them and probably do a shoe review one day. And after I run 100 miles in them, I'll probably do a shoe review on these shoes for you guys. And then it came with the bag as well, the other one. They also gave us these sick white hats. They're really comfortable. I'll definitely wear them. And then the final thing is they gave us a water bottle. Brooks water bottle. So that was really nice of them. Got a massage, got my leg worked on, got my knee like taped up a little bit. I mean, it's not really bothering me that much, but I just want to be safe with the amount of impact I'm, it's gonna to take tomorrow. I'm probably gonna tape both knees. Uh, an adjustment, the car packs adjustment as well, uh, thanks to rep running I got back to my room took a nap and then went to the technical meeting for the athletes to talk about what, about the course about the hydration system everything that we need to know about going to tomorrow the bus shuttle stuff um, and just like the safety of the athletes is priority so like they're just trying to take care of us there and then what is the times right now it is 6:33, and then I got a really nice nice letter from my coach they're just pretty much telling me of like what the race plan is. We went over what the plans for tomorrow. The, since the weather's gonna be great, it's gonna look like it's gonna be a fast race, and like trying to brainstorm of ideas of like 
what we're gonna do in terms of the race plan. So that's nice to have somebody to talk over race strategy this time around. Like last build, I had no structure in my training. So I didn't have anybody to talk race strategy about that. So this time around, it's having a lot of support, having people there is really nice. And just, yeah, all of that is just really nice. So that's that. And then I'm probably gonna go to dinner in like 15, 20 minutes, and then probably close out the video for you guys and to get ready uh, for a great day of racing tomorrow. So I'm excited. The nerves di didn't kick in until the technical meeting when they were talking about the course. Like my stomach was just like all jumbled up and just all nervy, you know, how you get right before a race. That happened to me uh, while sitting there. I listened to the technical meetings and just them talk about the race. Like I haven't, I was just trying to so far to not, not think about the race that when somebody started talking about the race, like that got my nerves worked up. But I'm not, I'm trying not to be nervous because I know whatever happens tomorrow, like I'm gonna PR. Like my PR is 216, 12. Like whatever happens, I know I'm in way better shape than 216, 12. So whatever happens, whether I run 210 or whether I run 215, 59, and like everything, I know I'm in PR range. On a good day, I think I'm gonna PR. On a bad day, I know I'm gonna PR. So. It's good to know that kind of fitness that I'm in. So it's, it's a reassurance. And I know what my race plan is, or game, going to the race. So I'm stoked. And thank you guys for supporting this whole journey. It's, I'm, it's been fun. And I will definitely keep doing this more and more. And just the quality will just keep going up, up, up. So tomorrow, expect all the works. I'm not doing it, but expect all the works tomorrow. There will be drone footage, all all that, maybe some TV footage if I ever make it on TV. But yeah, that's all, that's all she wrote.